Hey everyone, so just so you know, this video is a little bit controversial and the reason being is it's talking a little bit about COVID-19 vaccine, which we know is going to start being rolled out now over the next couple of weeks and months. And the reason that I'm quite angry is because last night I came across an article on one particular government which says that the vaccine is mandatory and they actually want to try and force people to get vaccinated. There were comments of uh, without a vaccine, you won't have entry into theaters, into uh, movie cinemas, uh, into museums, sporting events, germs, there'll be travel restrictions in place, um, there'll be less aid from government and a whole lot of things around that to basically try and force people into being vaccinated. Okay, that's all very well, but you cannot force somebody to be injected with something where we don't even know what the long-term results are. Everybody is saying, or at least some medical professionals are saying, yes, this is fine, it's healthy, there's no damage, etc. But to be quite honest, nobody knows that. It's just like in the beginning when COVID hit us, nobody knew what was going on, and I don't even think they still understand what's going on. We were told uh, COVID antibodies, uh, when somebody gets infected, only last three months. I heard four months. Well, the reason I'm angry is I actually went for my third COVID antibody test this week, which is more than six months post COVID, and I still have COVID antibodies. So in my case, which is not unique to me, by the way, because I know people that have still got COVID antibodies after eight months. In the case of this particular population that has gone through the illness, and some of them were asymptomatic and some of them were very symptomatic, that have got COVID antibodies, why in the hell would you want to inject this kind of population that already has a natural protection mechanism developed and in place? It does not make sense to me. It seems like this is actually completely discounted. And to the medical professionals out there, when you tell us that COVID antibodies only last a certain amount of time, well, why are people coming up with COVID antibodies still after eight months of testing? Can you explain that? What happens if we're seeing COVID antibodies 12 months post-testing? I'm sorry to say, but I would rather take my chances on natural immunity right now, especially because at the moment I do have it, then have to take a substance and put it into my body where I do not know the long-term side effects. And there's many scientists and medical doctors out there that say, it'll be fine, it's harmless, we just stick it in your body, changes a little bit of DNA, produces some proteins which will uh, allow uh, a defense mechanism for COVID. Well, that's all very well and wonderful. But what happens 10 months down the line, 12 months down the line, two years down the line, who knows, five years down the line, I will not take that chance. You do your clinical trials and testing for five years and then come back to me and show me what the efficacy and the long-term effects of that particular vaccine is. This is being fast-tracked and I'm not happy about it. And I'm also not happy about a massive population with antibodies being discounted here because surely there's something that is amiss. Something is not being said. I don't understand it. A lot of people don't understand it. And believe it or not, there's many virologists and scientists out there and biotechnologists who are against vaccination because they are concerned about the unknowns. Yes, this is a terrible period. A lot of people have been sick. A lot of people have been dying. And we want this COVID-19 situation to come to an end. But enforcing a vaccine onto somebody where we don't know what the long-term side effects are, to me, that's very worrying. And to discount an entire population, and there could be millions of people who have got existing COVID antibodies, which were only thought to last a few months, but they've got them lasting much, much longer. I don't see any research into that or any mention of that. And that to me is also very concerning. So I'm going to leave it up to you to decide what you think is best. But right now, that is my point of view.